Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is uh, Roland Knijburg and I work for Interdops and today we're going to demonstrate our latest demo called Hammer, which is using these little devices called eye beacons, uh, which, was, which is basically representing the Internet of Things, um, yeah, to have a scenario where we are using these eye beacons in order to have location-based triggering. So imagine a situation where you have these beacons somewhere in a room, um, once a patient or somebody else is uh, moving towards this eye beacon, and a certain action can be triggered in an app. Uh, these eye beacons are using Bluetooth. Uh, they're filled with sensors, and the application we have built is called Hammer, which we're going to demonstrate now. So the HANA Electronic Medical Record is an uh, application which is using triggers by the eye beacon. So once I trigger my eye beacon. My application is automatically recognizing now that this beacon belongs to a certain patient. So in this case, patient recognition is almost flawless because only one person can have an eye beacon. And that means that, uh, well, not being able to identify people is something of the past. Uh, what you see is that automatically the patient is recognized and once I press on the yes button, you will see that automatically the information is pulled out of HANA. So these are actually the um, yeah, the stats from this specific patient, and that is automatically yeah, stored into, into HANA. What we also have is some other um, sensors in these eye beacons. One of them is temperature. So you see on the right hand side the room temperature that's automatically measured by the device and also stored into HANA. Uh, and next to this we also are able to track movements. Uh, so we, can know, we know by using these beacons where a certain patient is in the room. Um, and there's also an extra button there called hypercare. And once we switch that button on, the moment the patient is tripped, or for instance falls out of his bed, automatically an alarm is triggered. Let's switch that off. Next to this, also a very important part is that besides being able to track movements, we can also record how often the patient is moving in his bed. Now, in combination with temperature, uh, that gives us a tremendous amount of information which we're using and processing in, in, uh, in SAP HANA and that is used by the Numira demo which is being done by Nout in the next screen. As my colleague just explained, we have the eye beacons uh, capturing all sensor data, it's pushing it into HANA and I would like to get the information out um, and it's, now it's just raw data. So we'd like to combine it, combine it with some Excel data to make it real information. To do this, we just start up Numira and get into an actual hospital case. In this case, we will look at decubitus, which is uh, a term for bed sore. And it basically means if you lay too long in your bed, you become one with your bed, which is something we definitely don't want. Um, so what we'll do now, here we have a, a good information view about movements and temperature. The movements come from our eye beacon and the temperature also. And we have a location. Here we can see, for example, that uh, Larry Edelson here uh, has very low movement. And I think it has to do with the fact that he was in a different room. And here I see it's the operation room. So let me just check if what I think I see is correct. With actually the data that I just got. And it's correct. So at this point I don't really care about because he's in our operation room. I think the doctors will take care of him. So later on in my analysis, I will um, make sure this is excluded. For now, I like to combine it with one of my local files. So what I'll do first is add my new file. I put here, I push here my new data source button. I choose the local Excel file. What I see here is age and movements. This is the number of movements you must do minimum uh, for average to not get an increased risk for decubitus. In this case I could set some advanced options, but for now I'm fine, so I'll just create this data set. And then I actually want to combine it with a data set I already pulled out of HANA. So let me just get this one. And I like to combine it via merge. In this case, case uh, age is the same as leeftijd, which is age for Dutch. And here I see a perfect 100% match. So I'm sure I'm going to do the correct thing here. 
because my Dutch is probably better than yours, I will rename this very quickly to the safety. Because this is the norm you must get for your range to not be in any risk. And I would like to make a combination of my average and my safety. So I'll make a new calculation over here. Because what I really want to see is when the average movement of a patient get lower than his safety norm. Because those are the increased risk moments which we can actually do something about. So in this case, I will call it risk. And what I will do here, make a condition and I will say if my safety norm my mistake if my average let me just take this out if my average movement is lower than my safety norm then show me the norm of the safety and in other cases I'm not really interested in what it will show just I'll put just the value zero in now I made a new calculation which should show me the risk of the people based on their age I just combined. Let me switch back to my visualization tab. And in this case, I like to change it to combined line chart. Where I want my risk moved in as well. Now you see here, I have several moments in time where I have increased risk. So if I just jump back to my Compose tab, you see here the graph is updated. It still remembered the selections I made before. Um, we just discussed that I will exclude the operation room, so only take the hospital room. And here you see at this point in time, there was a slight decrease risk. But in this point in time, there was a bigger risk because here you see the green line actually going way below the safety norm. So this is a point in time where uh, a nurse could take action and actually make sure the uh, patient is moving again so he has a decreased risk in the cubitus. Our patient wearing his eye beacon is now entering the exercise room. The entire hospital is supplied with eye beacons. We have one in the exercise room, we have one in, uh, in the private room of the, uh, of the patient. And the reason for that is that we're using that in combination with the Loved Ones app. The moment a patient, a patient enters a certain room, and it could be the exercise room or his bedroom, then automatically a push message is triggered. And that just happened. So what we see here now is that we get a notification that our patient, our loved one, has entered the exercise room. Now that's also done when, for instance, he goes to bed in the evening. And what's more uh, perfect than actually sitting on your couch and knowing that everything is okay with your loved one. And for that we have built something very specific, which we're going to show you in the next fragment. It's really a Internet of Things thing, and it's triggered by a RSS feed. Because the beacons register the movement of the patient, this information can be used to inform the loved ones at home. Using an RSS feed and a standard IFTDT service, we are able to identify a specific movement of your loved one in the hospital. With this information, we can turn on lights or make them change color.